Hey man, this thing on? What is happening? Mediocre people of YouTube. Where you at? So, what I want to talk about today, and I'm resting today because i uh, been laying under cars, doing brake lines, fixing brake lines. If you've ever done anything like that, it's uh, tedious work. To say the least, and when you got a broken back, it doesn't uh, help matters. So yeah, resting up today, trying to heal myself. But uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is that uh, while I was resting today, I uh, was skimming through Netflix, see what's going on. You know, I was actually uh, looking for some Muhammad Ali stuff. I think I've I've seen every Muhammad Ali documentary out there, and they're all great. I love Muhammad Ali. That dude's like one of my idols. But anyhow, um, saw this documentary called Living Undocumented, and I said, huh, that's interesting. I'm going to check that out. So I'm watching this documentary, and by the title, as you know, Living undocumented. What's it about? It's about people that are here in the United States living undocumented. Okay? Illegal aliens. Um, and I'm watching this stuff, you know, and I don't think much about, you know, illegal aliens or anything like that. But uh, I'm watching this and I'm thinking, God, this is horrible what these people are putting themselves through, putting their families through. Some of these people have been here 20 years illegally and didn't take one step to, to try to make the process work to get legal. And then they're like upset about being deported, like really upset. And it is upsetting because, I mean, you come to the United States illegally, you know you're illegal, you come here and you build a family and a business. And all the while long, you know you broke the law a long time ago, you know. And then they come for you to deport you, and then they, they're, they like, really upset about it, which they should be, you know, but it's kind of like, but you knew this all along. You knew that you broke the law. You knew you, this all this time, you knew you were illegal. You knew you were going to hurt your family. You knew you were going to hurt yourself. But they act like it's just like, you know, the, the part where they came into the country illegally and broke the law, that's just, they like overlook that as if, uh, and they just, they're like, oh my God, the ICE is coming to de deport me. So I found that interesting, and it's really quite devastating when you get into some of this. Um, they had some people on there, and I haven't finished it, it's a, it's a series, it's uh I haven't finished the whole thing, but they had a couple of uh, circumstances where a kid was like a year old when they were brought to the United States, and now uh, the kid's like 17 years old, never known anything but the United States, and they, I, you know, the, they're coming for her, for to uh, deport her, and she's like, oh my God, I wouldn't even, uh, they're from Israel, I wouldn't, I don't know anything of Israel, and they're coming to deport me, and it's like, that's that's horrific, you know, for starters. However, your parents, your father and your mother put you in this situation knowingly, you know, and hid it for 17 years. And I think it's devastating that a, a kid like that could be sent to a country they've never even known. But I think it's even more devastating that the parents were to put this child in this situation you need, do you know what I'm saying here this is uh I know immigration is always a, a hot topic you know I mean everybody's uh talking about or you know from time to time they talk about immigration and and I'm a borders language and culture guy so you know you can't come to the United States illegally you know you just can't do it we want you to come everybody in the united states wants people to come here but we want you to do it legally because we want to know who's crossing our borders we want to know who's coming into our country that's uh i think that's reasonable um but there's these people that come into the country illegally and then they're like devastated when they get deported 
And like I say, but they don't talk about the fact that they they knew they broke the law. They've known all these years they were here illegally. They don't talk about that. They overlook that as just, oh, whatever. Oh my God, they're coming to deport me. I don't know. It's really strange. It's kind of difficult to uh, wrap your head around, you know, as I'm watching this. Because I'm seeing how, wow, you know, these people are being deported. And some of them have families. Some of them, one guy built a business here, you know, and uh, and his business partner knows his situation. And his business partner, he's a burden on his business partner. You know, his business partner said every time we have to go to the bank for a loan or for like payroll loans and stuff like that. He's always got to put it in just his name because the illegal guy, you know, he can't do nothing because he's he's in the country illegally. He can't, you know, he can't do anything like that. Um, but it's like, wow, if you'd have just gotten legal, you've only been in the country for 20 years. Had you have just taken the steps in the process to become a legal immigrant into the United States, imagine how big and great their business would be because they seem like a couple of pretty good business partners, you know, they seem to have a good partnership. Um, but you know, again, this guy is actually a burden on his own business because, uh, you know, he can't. You know, he can only do what he can do. And then, of course, you know, the the risk of being deported, too. And uh, and it sucks because we need people to come to this country and open businesses like that. We really need people to do that. So he's not only going to be a burden on his business partner, but if the business fails, he's also going to be a burden on the United States and the United States economy. Because if the business fails and, say, they file bankruptcy, well, guess what? You know, so you have to look at this stuff logically, you know. Um, I hate seeing people deported, you know, but um, what can you do, you know? I mean, you knew from the get-go. not talking about the kids that were brought into this. That, that's even more horrific. The children that were brought into the United States illegally, say they were one or two years old or five years old, whatever. You know, they didn't have a choice to be brought into the United States. That's even more horrific. Because, yeah, now you're you're not only fucking yourself, you're bringing yourself into our country illegally. You're bringing a child into this country illegally. And potentially, and probably most definitely at some point, that child is going to be deported into a country they've never known. You know, these people are not taking... Some of the people in the documentary... They're not taking responsibility, as it seems in the documentary anyway. Maybe their private conversations are different. But they, they're not taking responsibility for, oh yeah, well, you know, I came into this country illegally, and, and, and I brought a child in illegally, and I stayed here for 20 years, now we're getting deported. You know, oh my God, what's my child going to do? What am I going to do? You know, it's, it's really a horrific situation, this whole uh, immigration thing. It's, man, it's a, it's a disaster. So, you know, especially since President Trump has taken office, you know, uh, the president is more of a borders language culture guy. He's done um, great work on the southern border and uh, great work on immigration. You know, it, it's a slow process. The immigration process is so screwed up at this point. Um, you know, I hope that these people can get some relief. You know, especially people like the guy from Israel who has a business and everything. You know, you, you would think there would be some type of court, separate court for those type of people to say, hey, look, I've been in the country. This is what I've done for the last 20 years. I built a business. I have a part business partner. I've done this. Great. Let's put that guy on the fast track to getting his citizenship so that they can build their country even greater, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but at the same time, that same guy has to take responsibility for, yeah, I entered the country illegally and, you know, I broke the law, you know, 20 years ago or whatever. And, um, you know, he's got to pay the price for that. I don't know, you know, what, I don't know, what, what do you do? What do you sentence a guy to? Um, probationary period, uh, jail time, uh, monetary fines. I don't know, but, uh. 
Yeah, pretty devastating stuff, man. It's on Netflix. It's called uh, Living Undocumented. And, um, you know, hopefully this documentary will get out to more people that are undocumented and to show them, hey, you know, you guys need to get your shit together because uh, the United States wants really good people here. Um, and you're certainly not starting off your journey into the United States very well by coming in illegally, you know. And these people admitted, you know, they came right across the border. One was, uh, had the coyote, took her across the border. <clears throat> there was one from Honduras and one from Mexico and one from Israel so far. And then the most recent guy, I don't know where he was from, but he actually committed a fucking felony, a drug charge, while he was here. And um, and he's worried about getting deported. Well, we need to deport that guy. You know, you've been in this country, and while you were here, you committed a felony, drug charge. Um, went to prison, came out. It's still here illegally. Why did you not, why didn't we deport him as soon as his prison sentence was over, you know? I mean, we don't want felons here, you know, we want good people. And like I said, in this documentary, it seems to be, uh, you know, by what the documentary says, it seems to be, um, you know, some pretty good people that they're showing here. One guy had his kid and everything, and he had to turn the kid over to, uh, to ICE with the mother, because she was already detained by ICE, and... Um, and he's he was illegal too, right? So he goes to the office, and then he fight, he's like, oh, oh, now they're detaining me. Well, yeah, you're illegal, you know. You told them you were illegal. I don't know, man. So yeah, you know, I hope the president continues on with um, some good policy, borders, language, culture policy, um, some good uh, immigration policy. Um, I hope he can manage, you know, with this Democrat party that we have right now that is, uh, they are just absolute tyrants. I mean, it seems like, seems like the Democrat party we have right now is just, they are intent on looking to become a dictatorship, you know, run solely by the Democratic party to tell the people what we're going to do. Because these members of Congress, and especially on the Democratic side, they seem to want to tell us, the American people, what we're going to do. It's supposed to be the other way around, okay? Us, the American people, we're supposed to be telling our Congress members what we want them to do. And instead, people like Nancy Pelosi and the wildly leftist Democrats are they seem to be just nope we're going to tell you how it's going to be and that is some scary scary shit um it is it's scary man and you know you guys if you've watched this channel you know when obama was in office i said the same thing about the republican party at that point you know and not so much when obama was in office but when bush was in office uh and you know and when obama was in office but especially when Bush was in office, we had a Republican Party that was out of control. Not out of control like this Democratic Party. This Democratic Party is just out of control. I don't even know any other way to put it. They, um, it's out of control. They, you know, you look at the Obama years and, you know, honest to God, and maybe you guys can go down there in the comments section and just tell me, you know, what were the major accomplishments that President Obama did? You know, what... What were President Obama's major accomplishments, you know, over eight years? We have a president right now who is, who is, he wants to accomplish a lot. And, um, and he has accomplished, I mean, unbelievably, because the, the Democratic Party, they just want to stop him. No matter what he's doing, they want to stop it. But he has been able to accomplish quite a bit, you know. He was, uh, there was a press conference today and talking about how the unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in 50 years. Um, one thing he said that I didn't, you know, I kind of got on him for, he said the uh, wages were up 3%, and that's unbelievable, it's great. And I don't agree with that. Um, I think wages being up 3% is a disgrace. I think our, our economy is a disgrace. And the reason I say that is because, you know, as I've said many times in the past, um, back in the 90s, say 1996, 
let's pick a year, 1996. If you were making $50,000 in 1996, if you made $50,000 a year, you're doing pretty good, you know? I mean, good living. Um, the problem is more than 20 years later, uh, people are still making that $50,000, yet the cost of living has just gone up unbelievably. I mean, what a house cost then versus now, what, you know, food cost, every, the whole cost of living. Yet people, the wages haven't really risen. It used to be the wages would, you know, the cost of living might go up a little bit and the wages slowly followed. And now the cost of living has gone here and the wages are still way back here. Raising the wages is not the answer, okay? Because all you're doing there is you're just going to create an inflation of the cost of living. So what's the answer? You know, how do you, how do you, uh, how does the middle class even out with between wages and the cost of living? You know, and if there's anybody that can get the middle class economy humming, I think it would be this president. Um, and I think that, you know, <laughs> I think if it weren't for this Democratic Party, this president could be focused on issues like that or, that are super important because, you know, we're losing a middle class in this country uh, rapidly, you know. So, yeah. So that's, I don't know where I got off there on a, on a tangent about the economy and and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, check it out. Uh, pretty good documentary. Um, but, you know, take it for what it's worth and take it for both sides. I mean, I, as I saw, it was it was horrific to see these people not just being deported, but seeing these people go through life. They broke the law, came here, stayed here, knowing they were breaking the law. And then when it came time to the law catch, caught up to them, they act like it, they didn't see it coming. And like I said, and they brought children into this situation. It's the horrible, horrible stuff, man. So, you know, if you're thinking of immigrating to the United States, I suggest you do it legally like the rest of the immigrants in the United States. I have neighbors. I've met people all my life who have immigrated to the United States legally. They're doing great. They're happy. They don't walk around with that dark cloud of... I broke the law, I'm here illegal over their head. They don't, they're, they're more responsible than to bring a one-year-old child into this country illegally with them, and then 17 years later, that child has to be deported because of the mistakes their parents made. Check it out. Living Undocumented. It's Friday. Peace out. Oh, I'm going to do another live stream soon. There will be an announcement before I do it because I'm hoping to get some of you guys uh, to come in and, and again you know the idea is to kind of bounce uh, ideas off each other musically um, and then we can always you know sit and bullshit just like the last one where MLB came in and kind of gave us a history of the uh, mediocre guitar community which is great. Elmo's a good dude. If you don't know about Elmo B he was on my last video there was a live stream go to his channel check him out he's he's funny as fuck he's from new orleans and uh and he knows his music and stuff like that he's good dude really good dude again uh who else should i shout out i always got to shout out some people well always as always wills he's a guitar um if you're looking for pickups for your guitar head over to rocksolidpickups.com man custom made pickups already made pickups pickups you can make yourself it's all there and i've got that custom set that he made me it's in a past video go check it out um that's it it's friday bitches peace out